world, this is What's Up 290, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily use your Windows computer as a radio station receiver for FM, L upper sideband, sh shortwave, and AM. Now, first things first, you will need one of these RTL software-defined radio sticks, which you can be purchased from eBay or Amazon for... 30 25 to 30 dollars and you will also need a either copper wire or plug-in antenna that looks so that will plug into this hole here this connector so once you ha so i'll switch over to my computer now and then we will take a look at the software you will use to run this so unfortunately the program it the program you will need to to use your dongle to receive radio signals on your computer is a bit cumbersome to install and i do believe it only runs on windows so what you're going to want to do is go to this url here i'll put the url in the description and click download then you're going to want to also download hd sdr which can be downloaded from here and download the stable version so once you've downloaded both of those files, you're going to want to extract the SDR, the uh, SDR sharps, that's AC, x86 uh, zip file, and there will be a batch file that will say install RTL SDR, and then just click that, and then it'll open it. And then you're going to want to run that batch file. Once that's done, I already did it, so I'm going to close that. Once that's done, you're going to want to plug in your we you're going to want to plug in your RTL SCR dongle, dongle into the USB port if you haven't done that already. Once you have Zadig open, you're going to want to go to Options, List All Devices, and then and then it's not showing up because I already installed it. But there will be but this but uh select the from the drop down, men, down menu the it'll be either interface zero or interface one and it'll say something like rtl and the driver here will say something like rtl sdr whole bunch of numbers right and then the right side will say win usb and then click install driver and then that'll be it close out of that program and there and now there is one more thing we need to download and move into place so what you're going to want to do is do go to this link here and then download the file. And now open up HDSDR when you, after you install it from the download we did earlier. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and download this folder here. This, this uh, DLL file here. And you're going to want to place it in the install installation directory of HDSDR. So as you can see, I downloaded it, placed it here, and there you go. Then you can open H, it's in this directory. So what you're going to want to do after you do that is open HDSDR. And then for SDR device, click Click here and then select your receiver. It'll be named like RT, it'll be named RTL, whatever the number is. And then now we've installed the programs we need and we can start tuning to radio stations on our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. You can start, stop it, minimize, exit from here. And basically, what this will do is it acts as a spectrum analyzer. So if it click, you can click lower sideband, upper sideband, CW, FM, all the frequencies here, and it will display a waterfall. And if you just, and basically if it displays a, if you see this green line going up here, that means that there is in fact a station, a radio signal being picked up.
as you can see, there you go. You kind of do need to play around with the filters a bit to get it to come in clear or for the sound to work sometimes. So, there I am manually receiving a local FM radio station by doing this on my computer. And depending on how wide the green bar appears here, the wider you more and more you're going to want to adjust your FM gain by putting this bar here. You can also try tuning it around to try to, to try to get the uh, try to get the station to come in better. Though keep in mind you are still using an antenna to tune, so there is that as well. Alright, so and you can click on freak you can change types of frequency by by here. And also the program will automatically change the frequency for you depending on, depending on the spectrum you're currently in. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.